Welcome to Contact. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the dividend growth model. What is it? This is a method or model that is used to value the stock or the share price of a company. After calculating the share price or the stock of the company, the answer can be compared to the market price of the stock or the share price to determine if the stock is overvalued. That is where the answer is lower than the market price or is undervalued where the answer is greater than the market price. And we'll look at an example right now in explaining this concept. But in essence, the dividend growth model is used to calculate the share price of the company. When you calculate the share price of the company, you can compare it to what the share price is currently trading at. And once you see the difference, you'll be able to know whether the stock is overvalued or undervalued. We use the Gordon growth model, which is an equation to get the price of a stock or a share. So let's quickly look at how the Gordon growth model equation works or how we calculate the dividend growth model. Here is how it works. P0 equals to D1 divided by Ke minus G. So here's the explanation to what those, uh, those letters mean. The P0, we're talking about the current market price of the share. D0, we're talking about the current dividend that is being provided so the current dividend that is being given to the shareholders the ke is the shareholders cost of capital and by g we're talking about the expected annual growth in dividend payments so you can see how this formula works for us to get p0 that is the market price according to the dividend growth model using the growth gordon growth formula so these terms can be used interchangeably we take d1 that is dividend at year one or a period one. How do we get that? We take the dividend at period zero, that's D zero, times one plus the growth rate. So it's D one divided by KE, which is the shareholder's cost of capital or the required rate of return, minus the growth rate. So let's look at this example, which will help you understand this one thoroughly. Here's an example. We are told that PAMGO Capital's shareholders require a minimum return of 18%, that is the cost of equity how much they require as a return on their investment. And we're also told that the company last paid out a dividend of six rand per share, which is expected to increase by 10% per annum. And we're required to calculate the value of a share using the dividend or the Gordon growth model. So we asked what is the value of a share using the dividend or Gordon growth model. So we are given the information above. And you remember the formula that we just mentioned in the previous slide, P0, which is what we are asked to calculate, the value of a share using the dividend growth model, equals to D1, that is dividend at period 1. And we get that by taking uh, the dividend at period 0 times 1 plus the growth rate. So it's D1 divided by KE, which is the minimum return that is required or the required rate of return or cost of equity, minus the growth rate. So let's go ahead and do that. You'll see how simple it is to calculate this. It's just knowing what amount to use where and what figure to use where so with a kind of question like this you have to pay very careful attention to the detail that you are given so let's go ahead and do it d1 which is dividend at period zero well we are told that the company last paid out a dividend of six rand so that's why we put six rand which is the dividend at period zero because it was the last time they paid and then we multiply that by one plus the growth rate what is the growth rate, well, we are told that it is expected to increase at 10% per annum. So the, the dividend that is being paid out to the shareholders is expected to increase by 10% per annum. That means at period one, we take the six rand, which is the dividend which was last paid, times one plus the growth rate of 10%. And that's one plus 0 0.10, and that is 10%. And we get a D1 of 6.6 .6 rand. So that means six rand, 60 cent is what will be the dividend at period one. That is the D1. So we've solved for D1. So now divide that by KE, the minimum return, which we are given, which is 18% minus 10%. And we get an answer of 8%. Now, remember to always put the denominator as a decimal. Don't you put it as a percentage because that's where students will make mistakes when they're using their calculator to calculate the answer. So 18% equals to 0 0.18 minus the growth rate of 0 0.10 and it gives us 8%. So now we can actually 
do the division and the subtraction we take like the formula says here d1 which is 6.6 .6, which you have just calculated here divide by ke minus g which you have just calculated 18 percent minus 10 percent and gives us 0 0.08 and the answer is 82 rand 50 cent so you can see that is our answer so we're asked to calculate the value of a share using the dividend uh, growth model or the garden growth model and that is the formula that we use and that is how you calculate the value of a share using this model so we can say that the value of the share using the dividend growth model is 82 rand 50 cents now remember that point we mentioned at the beginning to say that you can compare to the actual market price of the share well if you are told for instance that the actual market price of a share is 75 rand so you can compare that to the the, the share price, the value of a share that you have calculated using, using the dividend growth model, you can see that it's higher than the 75 rand, for example, that I just said. So if it's trading at 75 rand currently, you compare it to this one here, you can see that the share is undervalued because it's 75 rand at which it's trading at. But when you use the dividend growth model, it's higher. It's 82 rand 50 cents. So what would you do in that case? You would invest in that company. You'd buy shares in that company because it's undervalued. But if the actual market price, the price at which you could buy the share is higher than these 82 rand 50 cents, then you can say that it's overvalued because it's only worth 82 rand 50 cents using the dividend growth model. And that is how you use this model to calculate it. Very easy. P0 equals to D1, that's dividend at period one, divided by KE, which is the cost of capital or the cost of equity minus the growth rate. Now, let's look at the second example where you may be asked to calculate the cost of equity or the required rate of return, the minimum return. Here we're given the minimum return and we're asked to calculate the value of a share. Now, what if you are given the value of a share and you're asked to calculate the minimum return? So let's look at that same example. Example two, Pamgo Capital's shares are trading, are currently trading at 75 rand per share. So you're given the current market value of the share. The company last paid out a dividend of 6 rand per share which is expected to increase by 10% per annum. And you're asked here, what is the cost of equity or the required rate of return? Well, remember that formula that we had at the beginning, P0, which is the value of the share, equals to D1, which is dividend at period one, divided by cost of equity minus growth rate. Well, now we are looking for the cost of equity because that's the requirement. What is the cost of equity? So now we just switch our formula around and we can see that the cost of equity will equal to D1 again. And we divide that by the, the by the current market value of the share, which is the P0. And then that answer, we, we, we add the growth rate to get our cost of equity. So now let's calculate the cost of equity using the same formula. And this is the formula that you use to calculate the cost of equity. The other way you can calculate the cost of equity is using the cap M or the capital asset pricing model. So we'll do a lesson on that as well and explain how that works and you'll find the link in the description below. But here, if you're asked to do it using the dividend growth model, this is how you would do it. So what is KE? So we already know it's D1. Let's calculate D1 is six times one plus the growth rate, one, one plus the 10%. And we did that in our earlier example. And then we divide that by the current market value of the share of 75 rand. And then once we get that answer, we add our, our cost of our, our growth rate. We add our growth rate and we get an answer of 18.8%. So if you punch that into your calculator, six times one plus 10%, six times one plus 0 0.1, you get the answer. And then you divide that by 75 rand, you get the answer. And then you add 0 0.10. Also remember how to calculate it using decimals and you'll get 0 0.188. You can multiply mul multiply that by 100 to get 18.8%, but 0 0.188 is the same as 18.8%. So if you're asked to calculate the cost of equity, this is the formula that you would use to calculate that and you will get the answer that you want, 18.8%. I hope that has helped. And it has made sense. Now, a quick one that we need to, to I, I want to show you what are the advantages and disadvantages of the dividend growth model. Well, here are the advantages. The dividend valuation model is simple to use. As you can see, if you know the formula, you just use the information that you're given. Now, you need to pay very careful attention because sometimes you may be given D1 and not D0. That means you don't have to calculate D1. So you pay careful attention to that 
and sometimes you may be given other information so you need to pay careful attention for that to that and then you just take the information that you're given insert them into the formula that we have just shown you and you'll be able to get the answer so the dividend valuation model is simple to use that's one advantage and the second advantage is it allows for the fact that future dividends the dividends in the future should grow if profits are reinvested and that shareholders are likely to value their shares according to their future dividend expect expectations in other words if i am a prospective shareholder if i'm planning to invest in the company and i want to use the dividend growth model well i'll look at the company and see what information the company is given to say this is the dividend that they'll be giving to the shareholders and this is by how much it's going to grow then i can use this to value the share according to the future dividend expectations so these are the advantages of the dividend growth model now what are the disadvantages well they also have the disadvantages well the model assumes that the market value of the share is in equilibrium so that the share price is correct so that is what it assumes that the market value of the share is in equilibrium so that the share price is correct that's one of the disadvantages it's built on that assumption the second disadvantage is that although it allows for the fact that future dividends should grow if profits are reinvested and that shareholders are likely to value their shares according to their future dividend expectations it assumes that all shareholders behave in the same way which is improbable so it's built on a lot of assumptions it also as assumes that the the, the 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 growth rate that you use will grow indefinitely or will grow into perpetuity that that at that rate the the the, the dividend will be growing at that specific rate into perpetuity and which we know in practice it may not be the case because sometimes the company may say that in this year we may not issue dividends or in another year our dividend are not going to grow by any percentage and it also assumes that dividend will always be paid out and we know that the company can decide not to pay out dividend and another disadvantage is if the company does not pay out dividend maybe in this year or in the following year you can use you cannot use the formula to value the, the 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 share price or to calculate the share price i hope that has made sense and you've been able to gain value from this lesson and if you have please consider subscribing to our channel liking this video and sharing it if you can till next time cheers